We are combining a slider leg curl with a kettlebell pullover. This is, this is a challenging one. So, one of the keys is essentially getting the coordination. As you are pushing the legs out, you are letting the kettlebell fall into the stretch position of the pullover. And as you're sucking the legs in, you're pulling with the lats to the top position of the pullover. So, some things to really, really pay attention to. We want to protect the low back for sure, and also understand your range of motion with shoulders. So we're gonna, all the rules apply that we do for a glute bridge. Again, get the tail tucked, low back flat on the ground. We're gonna push up through the heels, not lift the hips, but let's go ahead and get the weight place. So we're gonna hold the kettlebell like this. You can hold it with the horns. I kind of prefer this position right here. Obviously I'm using a light kettlebell for demo purposes. Okay, pop myself up into position. Now here I am ready to go. I'm only bringing the kettlebell to vertical, anything past here, now it's folding, and we're, the shoulders are doing like a shoulder raise from here to here. We're not looking for that. We're looking for a pullover. So let me do the pullover first. Pullover, stretching the lats, and then using the lats to pull that forward. So what I want you to think about is not using the hands. Get your mind out of your hands on the kettlebell and instead think about the lats, armpits, closing this way. So you can almost imagine like if there was a machine with a pad here, it's one of the greatest machines of all time, the pullover machine, and you push into the pad like that, right? So you want to imagine that. Don't get your head into the kettlebell. And then at the same time, we're combining that with a leg curl, which is a very challenging exercise in itself. And due to the fact that we're doing a pullover, we can't dig our elbows in to get any help. So you might need to do alternating or you know, one leg at a time on the glute bridge. So let me show you what that would look like. So glute bridge up, and I meant to say leg curl. I would go open with both legs, pull with one and then the other. Open with both legs, pull with one, and then the other, if you need to do that. Okay, otherwise we're gonna go here. Don't let that kettlebell tap the ground like I just did. When we're in the extended position, glutes are tight, hands are kicking in big time, heels are in. I don't want to arch my back, I also don't want to drop my hips. So I'm really stretched out in this long position here with all this in the air. Heels are digging in, shoulders are digging in. Don't let the kettlebell hit the ground. Close up shop. So it's, it's a lot going on there. Very challenging exercise. Modify as needed. If need be, just do the leg curl, just do the pullover, or separate them, uh, alternate them. There's a lot of different variations you can do to get your version of this exercise in, or of course we'll provide you with some kind of alternative.